Here we are, Lumpini. Another fight. How many times have you fought at Lumpini now? Oh, uh, maybe seven, eight, like that. Do you feel pretty comfortable fighting here? Yeah, I feel already like more comfortable. And so, this is your second or third fight at Fa when you've been training out Fairtex, right? Uh, third fight, yes. Third fight. And so, how was preparation for this fight? Uh, it's better because I hear so many sparring partners and training hard. Mm -hmm. So, I feel I am getting better, better every day. Yeah. Good. Well, let's get this started. It is three rounds of action, and we have uh, Matthew Dean there in the ring announcing. Have you met him before? Um, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he's actually pretty famous. He uh, does a lot of stuff in the world of Muay Thai and has a gym called Kong Sita in Bangkok. Uh -huh. uh, so there's a global house mascot. Um, so you actually told me off air that you started at Crew Dom Gym. Yes. Then you moved to TF Gym. TC Muay Thai. TC Muay Thai. Yes. And you were there at TC Muay Thai for like a year? Mm, almost, almost. Almost a year. And then you moved over to Fairtex. Yes. How many Muay Thai fights have you had now? So Muay Thai fight now, uh, 25. 20? 20? Yes, 25. So, what, one at Crew Dom and then yes, yes, yes. a bunch out of TC Muay Thai? Uh, yeah, so in Crew Dom Gym I fight in Thai fight. Oh, really? Yeah, with Sayok. <laughs> with Sayok? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, I lose. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh -huh. I, you know, no, no offense, but uh -huh. I'd be very surprised if you beat Sayok. Thai fight is like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not fair. But now I think I can beat him. Oh, right really? Now. Yeah. So here you are walking into the ring. Uh, how were you feeling going into the ring? I feel I was... Um, we ready, so I feel I am so comfortable. Mm -hmm. I think I can beat him like, one more time mm -hmm. because I prepared so hard for this fight and so many sparring and so many uh, hard training. So I do, I push everything to win this fight. But what happened to happen? Yeah, we'll see what happens. You fought Bang Lan before? Yes. Where? Thai Wasado. Oh, the Thai Wasado yeah, tournament? Final. Yeah, final. Uh, oh, I was probably there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you knock him out? Yes, I knocked him out. Uh, oh, first round? First round. Third round, was yes. it a hook? Hook. Yeah, I, yeah. I sort of remember. So uh, that was for the Thai Wasado tournament and small gloves, right? Yeah, I remember you was commenting. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. commentating, but yeah, yeah. you know, there's lots of fights. Yeah, I know, I know, every week. <laughs> yeah every week <laughs> and then you know do you even remember your fights yeah i remember oh you remember before this fight i also watched but now already one year now we are different fighter mm, yeah it's a one year it's a lot of fights and yeah a lot can change with your program here's the tell the tape um not too much difference to be honest he has a bit more experience but before you came to thailand i assume you fought in uzbekistan hmm? you fought back home right yeah yeah i, I back i back go home and i maybe rest no 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 when when you were younger you fought uh-huh like karate or boxing or something oh yeah yeah i do boxing mm -hmm. also muay thai and wrestling, but I stopped to Muay Thai. Ah, I see. Why, why did you come to Thailand the first time? Uh, because of first time I came to for World Championship 2019. For uh, IFMA? Yeah. Uh, no, WMF. What's that? WMF. Uh, WMF? Yes, yes, WMF. Uh -huh. And after that I see here so strong fighters and mm -hmm. I say, okay, I should train here. Mm. Because my dream is one championship. So yeah, after that, I maybe 20, 20, I come to here and COVID 19, and after that, we back mm -hmm. and we again come back. Yeah. And then, oh, how did you end up at uh, TC Muay Thai and Crew Dam and here at Fairtex too? When we come uh, first time, and uh, we have friends, uh, he's manager in Uzbekistan, and he bring to first uh, family Muay Thai. Mm. After that, yeah, we meet to uh, 
Krodam and we changed mm -hmm. to Krodam gym and I have one friend to move to TC. TC, yes. And then you came to Fairtex with Pockbell, right? Or? Yeah, it's Pockbell. Yeah. And then you had the one fight and Mr. Wong was like, oh, okay, you can stay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So have you worked with Chow before? Uh, a few times, yes. Yeah. How was he in the corner? He's very good, so... Yeah. Is it hard for you to have, like, Thai corner men? Cause no, no, not so hard, mm -hmm. because they have so many experience, so mm -hmm. they can tell what you should do, mm -hmm. just need to listen. Yeah. If with Pock, yeah, it's more easy. With what? Yeah, Pock pill. Oh, really? Yeah. It's easier? Because... He know how to defend <laughs> yeah. opponents, so he can tell true things. Yeah, so here we go, the first round. round. And uh, you get clipped a little in the nuts there. You know you have to keep fighting if they, if you get kicked in the nuts, you have to keep fighting. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is not a foul. So he know my style, he yeah. just try to kick my arm, defend yeah. my hand. Yeah, good left kick there from you. It's 2.30 in the first round. What was your plan going into this fight? My plan was to knock him out. Mm -hmm. Because I I tried to use my hand, because mm -hmm. I know my power. But he defended my arm. <laughs> <laughs> He's so many kick. Yeah. And after that, so I cannot punch hard. Mm. Yeah, even in the big gloves, you've knocked a lot of people out, right? Yes, yes. How many knockouts have you had so far? Oh, I just win split decision a few times. I almost knock him out everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, there's a yeah, very again. quick right kick. How did you feel like your distance was to him? I to try to keep distance a little bit far from his kick. Mm, mm -hmm. I try to also so many block, block. But he also so experienced fighter. Yeah, yeah. You can see he's like very. He's concentrating a lot. Yeah, yeah. A good left kick from you. And how did you feel so far in the fight? What do you mean? How do you feel? It's been two minutes of the fight. How do you feel? I feel comfortable. I think I'm winning because I use my leg, hand. He just only kick, kick. Mm -hmm. Are you that familiar with uh, scoring out here in Thailand? Oh, yeah. Because I would say like the kicks have shown pretty good effect and damage so far. So I would say he's like winning this round so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's another kick. Like sometimes your hands are landing, but they're not super strong. Mm -hmm. Like that was a good block from you, but you still move. That body kick was very good though oh, from yes. you. So just 20 seconds left here in the first round. Yeah, he definitely, he wants revenge. You can see it in his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what do you think you've, imp oh, that was a good left kick, left hand. What do you think you've improved on since you've come to Fairtex? Uh, come to Fairtex, so I have to say, I feel I am now, I'm so strong mm -hmm. more than before because every training camp I feel really so strong so it's a nice place to going up uh, yeah so many sparring partners also coach so very good mm. here's some of the replays so Chow told you to block more and I see you're like pawing at his lead hand right away the big punches from him you're definitely doing a better job blocking here. And you're a lot more active as well. Uh -huh. Did you feel like you were doing what you needed to do? Yeah, I feel I'm doing what I should feel. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, good. That was a good body kick. He's 
It looks like he's waiting to kick that that arm of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Just like waiting for the opening. Yeah, there's yes. a there's the arm kick. I mean, you block it, but it's still powerful enough to like off balance you a little. Oh, that was yeah. a very good cross. You like mix your rhythm up. If you see, he not using punch. If not low kick, just only kick my arm. <laughs> yeah, only one. Yeah. Oh, that was a good chop to the inside leg. Yeah, but actually I should do this one more. Yeah. Yeah, good block there, but it, his, it looks like his kicks still have a decent amount of power. Mm -hmm. How were you feeling in the second round? I feel I'm not tired because mm -hmm. he just kicked my block. Mm -hmm. I feel, I think it's okay if just only block. Yeah. yeah. I do feel like the second round you're doing better. You're landing more, you're blocking it more effectively. No, I feel first and those round I do good. I yeah. think it's, I do enough to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say in this round for sure. The first round for me at least was a little more, you know. Yeah. But this round so far, pretty good. Because he's second round too strong. Mm -hmm. And last round, I know he will tired. I just waiting that moment to knock him out. Mm. Yeah, a good evasion there from you. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely kicks pretty hard. I can see why, you know, that right kick works well for him. So it's like, oh, why change things? Uh, see, even you block there, he like, he starts yeah. blasting away because he sees like, oh, it's hurting. You know, I th you were very active in this round, but like those kicks are starting to add up. Yeah. Well, looking back at this second round, what do you think you learned from it? Uh, I, I think I learn so many uh, mistakes after this fight because I should to block more mm -hmm. and I shouldn't wait him to mm -hmm. kick you know I should to work first mm -hmm. to punch or kick yeah it's always hard because a lot of times it, with southpaw versus orthodox it's like a game of timing you know yeah like who will go first okay the the counter person usually has the advantage in southpaw versus orthodox and what did the corner say going into this final round i remember chow say first round you win second you lose so last round oh, yeah. you have to push everything mm -mm -mm. because he and he said don't forget to block yeah yeah, you definitely did a better job blocking in that second round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, last round. Yeah, oh, you fired up. So, third and final round. And this was part of a tournament, right? Yeah, a tournament. One, one night tournament? Yes. Did Bang, uh, Bang Lan win it or what happened? Uh, no, it's like uh, we should fight every month one one. Oh, one, one time, one month. Yeah. yeah. So the kick sometimes goes a little high too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he fades back a lot. There's that glove touch as well. This is so common. Uh, the good inside leg kick. I learned from uh, smoking Joe. Oh. oh, very good hook. Wait, wait, what did you say you learned from Smoking Joe? Yeah, yeah, that's one. Left hand and also kick inside. Yeah. I think you, you rocked him with that hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like super clean on video, but you can see from his reaction, he's got dizzy. Is that why you feel you sped up here? I feel he go down, so I should to push myself because I have chance to knock him out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because, oh yeah. Yeah, he, 
Yeah, he's still like strong, but it seems like you found a weakness there with the hand. You just gotta land it one more time, Luzer. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a good body kick from him. Uh, good block. Oh yeah, boom. So it's about a minute to go here, a minute and 12 seconds. Where, how are you feeling in the fight? I'm not tired. I yeah. have five rounds, so. Yeah, I think so you can. I, I see he already tired, so mm -hmm. he just go back, back. Yeah. But here already one minute and I think I do enough because first and last round I think I already win. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's doing a good job like scoring points here and like like after that oh, exchange. Again, hook. Oh. oh. Like at the end of every exchange he lands that big body kick. Yeah. It's a good in leg kick. Oh, good body kick. Bang, right hand, or left hand. So last few seconds. He's definitely very tired. Yes. Last few seconds here, boom, boom. Ah, good knee from him. And that's the end of the fight. Yes. So, what did you think overall of this fight? Oh yeah, he just do only one thing, mm -hmm. kick my arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of times like that basic plan works. You know, I think it worked for him. See, he kicked you and you moved. It shows impact. Yeah. Or like when you flinch and go ah, you know, that's what the judges look at. You know, oh, you move to the side, that scores. That yeah. was very good. Yeah, that hook was very good. You, yeah, he like bites down on his oh, gum yeah. shield and goes ah. Yeah, he felt. <laughs> yeah, he felt that for sure. That's why he like bit down and he yeah, was like, yeah. oh, I go. I think like he was probably uh, dizzy and wobbling. So we have the announcement from Matthew Dean. He, he doesn't look confident that he won either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. He's like, uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see his face. He's very, very excited. So it was a good fight. Do you think you would want to fight him again? Yeah, maybe he will go to one. So if one small glove, I want to rematch. <laughs> I for sure I will knock him out. Small glove. Yeah, I think um, in the small gloves it's very different too. Yeah, yeah. You just touch someone. How many small glove fights have you had now? Two fights. Two fights. Um, so what is next for you? When will you fight next? What will we see in the future? So I want to get contract one Lumpini. So let's see what happens mm -hmm. because now I already ready to fight one Lumpini. Yeah. Awesome. And if people are interested in following you and your fight career, where can they do so? Hmm? Where should people follow you? Instagram? Yeah, of course, Instagram. Okay, I'll put the name right there. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. We hope to see you soon on Buen Lumpini. See what happens. Yeah, I, small glove, I feel so comfortable, yeah. like a shark in the ocean, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good. Okay, thank you.